Welcome to the Nakla's Workshop. I'm Paul. Today we're going to look at the tailstock on the Emco Unimat SL lathe. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So today we're going to look at the tailstock on the Unimat SL lathe. So uh, we've got um, I've taken it off the lathe already. We have one uh, M6 uh, with a one one mil pitch bolt that uh, you remove it from the lathe with. Let's turn that around so you can see. And it's just to just it just comes off the off the uh, quill uh, quill ways. Uh, they're just circ circular, yeah. So uh, very simple to remove. Just pop that back up again for it, and I don't start losing things, and they all start wobbling around. So uh, we've got another another M6 bolt which clamps the the quill if you're trying to um, stop it moving back and forward. Uh, We've got the hand wheel, which has got some graduations. I'm never going to get them to see uh, you to see them. But what I'll do is I'll take a photo with my macro lens so you can um, have a little look. So basically, you've got 20 graduations, one full. So each graduation is the equivalent of 0.05 mil and one, one full rotate full rotation of the um, hand wheel advances the the quill forward one one mil um, just to, as normal that we won't be a, one of my videos without the comparison so we've got the coat comparison so the whole head stocks about this just a, just under the size of a can of coke so um, the the total travel of the of the quill from uh, yeah the total travels um, 18 mil so obviously if you need to drill anything bigger than 18 mil you're not going to be able to do it on a on a unimat lathe in one go um, I guess the only way you could do it is to anything larger is to start off and then um, stick the drill out a bit further in the lathe once you've gone or in the chuck once you've gone a bit further uh, on the on the um, the thread the thread on the on the on the quill is the normal uh, m12 uh, times one pitch um, it's the same same thread as on the headstock so um, you could you could you could fit a three jaw chuck on to it if you wanted, but we we should remember, although it sounds a little bit strange, the uh, the Emco Unimat is a universal machine tool. So it, not only can it be used as a lathe, it can be used as a milling machine. There's grinding attachments, um, saw attachments, um, many, many of them. If you look if you look at my playlist. It, the the um, it defines all the various um, attachments uh, that that the and the form effectively this universal machine tool uh, can can go into. Uh, I really would love to have all the attachments. Probably wouldn't use them all, but it will be so interesting to be able to see. So uh, my plan for the future is just to try and pick them up on eBay. As and when I can, as a reasonable price, and be able to show you guys a bit more of what this uh, interesting little machine can do. Um, so we've got a, a ball in there. So it's not it's not tapered. It's just a parallel ball, um, and the distance or, or the the size of the ball is uh, seven point one eight mil, um, and you can put the. Uh, um, a live centre or a dead centre in um, and there's a, another video all about the the centres if that's if you need any of that information 
and on the on the uh, you can screw a Jacob's chuck on there and again there's another video in the playlist regarding all the various chucks um, to disassemble it all you need is 5mm allen key to get it off the lathe um, you need a couple of screwdriver or one screwdriver small screwdriver to undo these two bolt two screws um, this this front one effectively is acts like a key what's a grub screw effectively into a key so we've got the the key there keyway in the quill there and this one is hold, holds tight the bearing that um because we've obviously got a, a right hand and a left hand thread to to ensure that when you turn it, it it still goes out in the normal way so that one just holds the the bush in when i do the um, restoration of the lathe in a in a couple of um or month or month or two's time i'll show you the whole process of um disassembling it so yeah sorry the um the tools you need 5 mil allen key the two one screwdriver to undo these a small one and there's a a 8 mil hex nut on the back to take the hand wheel off and that's all you need probably a um it it's uh set into the hand wheel so a small socket would be the that's what i've used to disassemble it so um yeah limited tool set to be able to take the thing apart um well that's about it so i uh, hope you found it useful um as i as i've mentioned there's a playlist where you can see uh, lots of different things on on the mco unimat lathe so have a look it may it may be maybe have some answers to the things you might be looking at okay well um as always stay uh, happy strong and healthy cheerio